In this video we're going to see the right way to set up the sent emails from our website, for our, from our WordPress website. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. So if you haven't changed anything to your WordPress website, uh, the website is sending the emails through a PHP function. It's using the PHP server and it's using a function from the server to send the emails. The problem with that is that in most cases your emails were going to the spam folder because they don't have any verification that it must has an email must has uh, with it must have. So we're going to see how we can change that. We're going to add a new plugin. So we're going to add the plugin and this is an SMTP plugin. There are a variety of plugins in the WordPress repository. If you go and type SMTP in the add new, you will find the WMail SMTP, which is the most common one. It has over 1 million and this is what I have activated myself. So go ahead and install that and activate that. And after that, you will see the WPMail SMTP. You're going to the settings. It has only one page with settings and then one uh, page that you want to test that and you're done. So the first that the first thing that you're going to change is this. This may have something from your website. It may say your uh, uh, domain name from your website or, or it may say your uh, mail that you signed uh, with administrator privilege inside your WordPress. So it may say your Gmail or Yahoo mail or something. You must change that and you must change to something at your domain.com. So you do not want to have WordPress or your Gmail account or anything else in here. You want to have something that it has at and your domain and your LTD. So this is what you're going to create later on. Then you can deforce from email and you can check, check that if you want to force the from email in here. It's not necessary. You can test it out and if you see that it's not passing through, you can check this. Then you have the from name, which you can put the WordPress uh, name. So this is for me, Stratos Tutorials, and I can also force the name. Then we have the return path, so you can change another uh, email if you want or something else. And then we have the settings for the mailer. Now, this is where the magic happens. Here you can, the default is the PHP, of course, but you can create it your custom SMTP or you can uh, select something from here. This is the custom SMTP. So you can select smtp.com, uh, Pepe Post, Sending Blue, Mailgun, Send Grid, Amazon SES, Gmail, or Outlook, Microsoft Outlook. I have used Sending Blue because the Sending Blue, if I go to the website, as you can see, it will give me 300 emails the day for free. Now, this is only for the uh, emails that my WordPress website is sending. If another uh, if someone will uh, subscribe, it will send an, an, email, an email if I want to send someone a notification or something else. It's not for newsletters because it's only 300 emails a day. If you have a list with a thousand people or more, you cannot use the free version. But if you just have a website with subscribers, so you have a WooCommerce or something else, it may be enough. 300 emails per day, I think they are enough. They are certainly enough for me and for all my clients that are not using uh, some newsletter form. I have also clients with WooCommerce and they don't have more than 50 or 100 uh, sales a day. So there are not many emails that are sent. So let's go and also see how we can create our custom uh, email. Let's go to the cPanel. Here is a cPanel. It's the most common uh, program that your uh, web hosting company may have. If uh, they don't have cPanel, you can search uh, how you can create it, your email with uh, their program. They may have it in the documentation or you can contact support. You can contact the support of your web hosting company. 
If you go to email accounts, you can click here, email accounts. And here I can add an email. Let's say that it will be the info. Here I can select the domain, so I can select whatever I want for all of those. I will leave it to onepc.gr because the uh, Stratos Tutorials is not currently in this uh, cPanel, this host gator. This is only for test. I'm not using it for real websites. So uh, actually not uh, in one PC is not in the server either, but I have left leave here the settings. So I can select a password. I'm just going to click the generate password and I can copy this. I'm not going to use it, but I can copy this. Let's go and create that. I have copied, okay, use password. And now it has created an info at onepc.gr. So here I can select the mailbox quota to be 500 megabyte and I can create the account. Okay, it's already exists. So let's go for something else. Let's go for website, one PC, password generator. Okay, I have copied, use password, create account. And now we'll get a message that it has been created. Now I can go down here and I can select the uh, website info PC and I can see here that it says more or set up clients. And if I go to set up mail client, I will see this is the settings that I want, the secure SSL settings. So here it says the incoming server and the outgoing server. If I go back to here, and I can click to other SMTP. I can see now that it asks for SMTP host. This is the name from here, incoming server and outgoing. This is the SMTP, the outgoing server. As you can see, it says down here SMTP. So I can copy this, copy, go here, paste it. The encryption, go back here again. As you can see, this encryption is SSL TL TLS and is the port 465. I'm going to copy the port, I'm going back here and I'm going to use SSL 465, it took it automatically. Auto TLS, okay, authentication on. Here it will say that it may require IMAP Epomtria and it may say that it requires authentication. Authentication is required for POP3 and, uh, and SMTP, sorry for the Greek word. Uh, POP3 and SMTP. So back here, I can uh, now copy the username, which is the whole uh, email website at onepc.gr. And then I'm going to paste the password and click save changes. Now the other settings is from send blue. So I'm going to click here, sending blue. And here it requests for an API key. So let's go to here. You're going to sign up for free. I'm going to log in because I do already have an account here. So login, and now I'm going to click here that says the one pc.gr and I'm going to select SMTP and API here. I'm going to click here and I'm going to see my API key here. As you can see, this is the version three. Also, it has some version through two API and I'm going to copy all of that. And I'm going back here and it requires the version three. As you can see, I'm going to select and then paste. After you paste that, I'm going not going to do that. Let's save changes. And then you can go to email test. And write your email here, a Gmail account on, or something else and hit send email. After that, you will get uh, a message that it was delivered and you can send check your inbox to see that your email is delivered. So this is how you create, uh, this is how you set up the SMTP and it's something that you must do in every each, uh, single website that you have. Do not let the PHP function to send your emails because they will end up uh, most likely in the spam of your customers. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.